Well, at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say I know what my decision is. Hey everyone, this is Matt again here with another video, and today I have finally made a decision between Persimmon's carbon fiber polycarbonate and pretty much anything with fiber-filled nylon. I've released a couple of different videos on this exact subject matter twice now. I, I have finally given up uh, I, I've tried everything I can think of that I can even, that I can buy that I can get my hands on. I have cleaned everything, the build surfaces with the purest alcohol I can find. I've used different brands of glue stick. I have purchased Magic Goo specifically designed for PA, which is nylon. I've even gone so far as to buy the Vision Miner nanopolymer adhesive, the stuff that's supposed to be a dream to work with nylon. Even says so right on the back, nylon. But still, every single time there is either something that warps, something that doesn't print right, it wouldn't matter what configuration they were in, in a hex configuration they would still warp, to even this big flat thing which I did nothing but slather the bottom in and it just spins. I've shown this before, but yeah, it should definitely not be doing this. And like I said, the final straw was this M. I figured, okay, well, it goes this way actually. So, kind of print like that. Anyways, I, it got to the point where I didn't even finish printing it. Got a nice wobble over here, got a little smaller one over there, over there, not so much here or here, a little bit there. But if you flip it over, you can pretty much, it's kind of hard to see it on camera, but pretty much every single edge is lifting up. And that's after me cleaning the build plate about four times with this and putting about three or four coats on with this. Yeah, I just, I saw it, just, I don't, you're not gonna be able to see it too well, but yeah, it just started lifting up slowly. I figured maybe it won't lift up too much, but then it just progressively got more and more and more to the point I just said, you know what, nope, that's it, I'm done. And I just stopped the print entirely. Then, I printed this, you know, like that. And there isn't a warp in it at all, uh, nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this part at all. This little thing here, it, flo it floats around because I'm throwing it around, but this has no wobble to it. It is flat. These two replacement parts for the Prusament printer, they are flat. This calibration cube, flat. This nut, flat. This other nut, flat. These two other nuts, flat. This adapter key, flat. But then they got, you know, gears. They warp in the corners. This nut warped in the corners. This one, well, I kind of broke that in half just to kind of see if I could figure out something maybe was going wrong internally. This little adapter key, yeah, flat and started warping up on the tip. The only thing wrong with the benchy here was nothing. Couldn't really, there wasn't anything really wrong with this. Like it's missing the smokestack, but that's just because I spent the better part of 20 minutes trying to destroy it by throwing it as hard as I could into pavement. So I will, I will agree that nylon is good when it works. I can't get it to work. I have spent way too much money on it at this point to even continue to try to use it. It's just not... Like, not worth it. Like, this here is, uh, the M, sorry, is in nylon K. Uh, never been able to do anything out of that. This sort of lighter stuff is nylon G. 
And the black, of course, is Nylon X. So I guess if anything, this is my, uh, you know, official, you know, notion of quitting using this filament in entirely. Like, I'm, I'm not going to buy any more of it. Like, I, I'm, I'm sure other formulations might be better, but I'm, I don't, you know, 60 US dollars or more want to try, if that makes any sense. When I can, well, I guess when is subjective. It's kind of when this stuff from Prusament is actually in stock, but I would call this, you know, the best stuff that I've been able to print with so far. It is super strong, prints really well. I have yet to have a part that warped with it. And in every kind of thing that it's compared to, it just doesn't come close. Yeah, didn't matter how much I cleaned it, didn't matter what kind of glue I put on it or how much, and it I, I screwed with temperatures, different build ser like I I did everything I can think of. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I've kept cracking at it, building more additional things. Like, it's, it's annoying. You see all these videos, oh, this Nylon X is great. And to be fair, I enjoy the feel of this material over this. It feels, you know, a little bit smoother or softer, but it isn't at the same time. But this stuff, it, it just prints better. S simple as that. Like I, I can't really get around that anymore. It's, it, it is what it is. If you have success with this, then you power, power to you. Like I'm happy for you. Just I, you know, for me, it's been nothing but a colossal waste of cash, and I will not be buying any more nylon X, nylon G, or nylon K. I won't be buying any more of it anymore. If I need any kind of fiber filled stuff, I'm going right to the stuff that I know works. I have proven it works. I have like proven success with it. And that's what I'm going to use in the future. Yeah. If you have any questions or comments, hey, leave them in the comments section below. If I'd love to hear some tips and tricks, I'm almost guaranteed to never kind of use them on this stuff again, but hey, you know, maybe you're, maybe someone out there is seeing something I'm not, right? I don't know. Oh, and if, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, yes, I used a enclosure. I didn't allow any kind of air conditioning ducts to go around it. I stopped things like air movement around it entirely, enclosures. I got to the point where I genuinely considered strapping a hair dryer to the enclosure to this circulate hot air. I didn't because I figured the moving air would be more detrimental than the heated air. So that, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. But yeah, questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, as always, like and subscribe. And until the next one, have a good one.